Alright, so today's tutorial is going to be on how to sign in to your Chromebook. When you first open your Chromebook and turn it on, you are prompted by your email and then you'll be prompted by your password. Your email is your first name dot last name and then you have at cmsdk12.org and you don't have to add that. Once you click next, you're prompted by your password. Your password is the password you use for Clever. It's alphanumeric. So what you're going to do is you're going to type that in. And the alphanumeric password you got, you received once you picked up your Chromebook. And it's the same password you use to log in for Clever. And click Next. Once you've entered your password, it's going to take you to the welcome screen. Take a few moments and read the welcome screen and then click Accept. Once you've clicked Accept, it's going to take a few moments for your profile to load. In some cases, once your profile loads, it's going to take you directly to Clever. If it doesn't, if your profile loads and it doesn't take you directly to the Clever home screen, you're going to see your desktop. Click on the Chrome button at the bottom and it'll take you to your Clever login. This is where you have to log in with your Active Directory. It's the easiest way to log into Clever. Once you've selected Active Directory to log into Clever, you're going to be prompted by the sign-in window. Your sign-in information is your first name dot last name at cmsdk12.org and you have to add the entire email address into this selection, including the cmsdk12.org. Once you've done so, click Next. Then you're going to be prompted for your password. This is the same password that you use to log into the computer, which is of course your clever password. Once you've done that, click Sign In. Once you've clicked Sign In, Microsoft is going to prompt you to save your credentials. I highly recommend saving it so it'll save you some time when logging in the future. However, for this demonstration, we're not going to save it and we're just going to click the X. Again, once we've done that, the prompt of staying signed in, I highly recommend clicking yes to save you some time, but for this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and click no. Now that we've done all that, the Clever screen should be open and you should be taken directly to your Clever dashboard. Now that you're at your Clever dashboard, some of our views are going to look different than others. Your teacher is going to direct to you which applications you are going to be using during this time of remote learning. However, we're looking for Schoology. As you scroll down, Schoology should be located in your instant login applications as well as other applications you may use during the school year. Schoology is the icon with the S that says Schoology. Once you click it, you're going to be prompted by the permissions request screen. Take a moment, read the permissions from Microsoft, and then click accept. Once you click accept, you're going to be taken to the Schoology platform for the first time. Once open, it automatically takes you through a mini tutorial for what each tab does. Don't just skip over this. Make sure you take the time to read what each tab at the top does. They're very important. For example, courses. This is where you view your courses that your teacher will have already set up for you. Next we have our groups. These are the groups you're going to be in that your teacher establishes. Your resources. Use the resources in your personal library to save and create notes to use in any of your courses and groups. And at the bottom, we have RS, which accesses the Help Center. I highly recommend going to your teacher before you access the Help Center. If there are any further questions, logging into the computer 
Accessing Clever, or accessing Schoology, please call the CMSD Tech Line at 216-838-0440 and pressing extension 4.